I just shot a podcast on mentors and I have been getting blown up with direct messaging and text messages on how do I know who should be my mentor? And so I thought I'd follow up on that uh, with with uh, how to find and attract mentors into your life. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about this uh, to try to give you some guidance and assistance on how to go out and find the right kind of mentors for the areas of your life that you want to have a new impact on. And remember, everything is about elevating your lids, your caps, your your caps and your lids are created based on your own personal experiences and reference points. And therefore, you establish a belief structure that becomes very hard to break through and elevate beyond that. And so uh, what we're talking about here is you now have decided you want to break beyond your existing lids. You want to elevate your belief about what you can do, uh, who you want to become or how you want to execute at a higher level of success. And you're thinking to yourself, who do I look for? How do I find them? And what do I take from those people to help me achieve a higher level of impact? First and foremost, you really have to write your goals down. You have to have absolute clarity as to what you want to accomplish. If this is a professional or personal or financial aspiration, you have to understand what that is. And the more you can become clear and succinct about exactly what you want to accomplish, the easier it is for you to find a mentor who can help you accomplish it. So let's assume that um, you want to find a mentor that can help you grow your business five times bigger. Well, that would require you to sit down and identify where your business is at today and what five times bigger looks like. So I'm just going to use round numbers. You're a million dollars today. You want to be $5 million in a couple of years. Now, the next question you have to ask yourself is where are the areas that you're struggling? And if your business is plateaued or if your business has been growing at a certain rate, but it's not fast enough, you have to ask yourself, where are you struggling? Then you would write down, here are the areas I'm struggling. I'm struggling with finding and attracting enough customers. I'm struggling with finding, uh, integrating, and aligning and retaining key employees. I'm struggling with my daily routines and how to put more on my plate to get more done, or I'm struggling with how to operationalize and scale my business to create duplicable and replicable programs. So these are different areas that you would identify you're struggling. Then you would ask the question, who is a leading authority on these areas? For example, if my struggle was in trying to figure out how to replicate and duplicate my efforts through my team members, you would say, who has put a body of work out there or who is an example in my industry of somebody who has done that? Or you find an author. And I would start with an author who's talk, who talks about this subject because then at least you gain your uh, a higher level of awareness. So if you want to learn how to scale your business through your people, by replicating and duplicating the things that you do really well, you would say, go find uh, Michael Gerber, Emeth, who talks specifically, the whole thesis of Emeth is how to replicate and duplicate so that you can move to doing things that are of greater importance to your organization and work on the business instead of getting stuck working in the business. So as you identify the big issues, you can then go to an author that talks about how to work through those issues. Finding a mentor is your responsibility, but finding a mentor that's aligned with something you're trying to solve today takes a higher level of awareness and understanding that you have to have because people can't help you if you don't know what you're aware or what you're trying to get help in. And people can't solve your problems if you don't identify it's a problem and you need a solution. There's nothing worse as a mentor. I'm just going to tell you this. There's nothing worse as a mentor than somebody coming to you and asking you the basic questions because they didn't take any effort in trying to improve their knowledge or awareness on their own. The more serious you are about what you want to accomplish, the more energy and effort you put into learning 
maxing out as much as you can on your own about how to do it and finding every kind of resource there is out there to support you in that endeavor. And the higher and better quality of questions you have, given the opportunity to talk to somebody with knowledge, the more you ingratiate yourself if you have been following their, if you've been reading their work or following them, um, the better questions you'll have and the more knowledge you'll have about them, that when you're given that opportunity, they will know that you're dead serious. I just had somebody reach out to me yesterday who I could tell based on their quality of questions. They've watched anything they can find about me. They've read some of the books I've recommended that you read. And they were asking specific questions about how to take that piece of work and put it into their culture and into their team in order to align the team with that specific issue. So I am thrilled to have that conversation because I know they're striving and I had so many people that helped me do that as well. So you have to know where you're going. You have to know what you want. You have to be serious about it. You have to be intentional about it. You have to use all the free knowledge that's out there and you have to understand fundamentally what you're trying to accomplish how you failed or how you've been able to accomplish that and what your question is about how to move to the next level so that when you're in front of somebody who could become a mentor, they know that you're dead serious about it. Thank you for listening to the Beat Awesome podcast. I hope that's helpful. I look forward to talking to you on the next show.